Hey y'all, it's Mina. Today for dinner, I did some restaurant style chicken and the flavors in this chicken y'all were out of sight. Okay, so to start, I did a marinade for this chicken and I started out with some soy sauce and y'all know me with the measurements. <laughs> I can eyeball it and tell you about what I did, okay? So that was about a tablespoon of soy sauce, maybe a little bit more. Same here, about a tablespoon of oyster sauce. And what I'm going to do, y'all, I'm going to add some hoisin sauce. And being as though I added the hoisin sauce, I didn't need the sugar. Okay, it was plenty sweet enough. And again, about a tablespoon of the hoisin sauce. And just a drip drop of this sesame oil because it is super potent super powerful tiny bit of salt because we did add some soy sauce here but I want a little bit of salt because we are making chicken you know and you want this to be super flavorful garlic powder I went pretty heavy with the garlic powder and you can do that to taste you know if you like it do it like I did it if you don't you know a sprinkle is okay same with this cracked black pepper. You know, if you're not really a pepper fan, you don't have to put a whole lot. But y'all, all the flavors I already put in there are super duper good together. And a small bit of paprika. And I'm using a little tiny bit of red gel food coloring. Just to make this sauce even more red. Okay, the paprika is going to do it a little bit. But this gel food coloring really did it. And y'all, I don't know if you've ever eaten like the chicken skewers, chicken on a stick, like, you know, on the food trucks and stuff. That's exactly what this flavor of this chicken tastes like, just like chicken on a stick. And where I'm from in Pittsburgh, you know, in my hood, my old hood, there used to be a food truck and they called it like the Roach Coach. And it has some of the best chicken on a stick. And this is the flavor right here. Only I don't have the roaches. <laughs> This is the chicken on a stick minus the roaches, y'all. Okay, so I added a little bit of oil to this also. And I'm going to mix that up. And then I'm going to go ahead and start soaking and marinating this chicken. And I have some chicken thighs, guys. Y'all know when you cook these up, when you fry these, they're going to be super tender. And all that flavor is going to be infused in there. Because well, I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to only let them sit for about a half an hour. What you can do is you can marinate this for like three to four hours or overnight or however long you want. Okay, but I was, you know, kind of in a pinch and I probably should have did this earlier. But hey, listen, though, the flavor was in this chicken once I cooked it. Y'all, and you only got to go like five minutes on each side on kind of a, a pretty high flame, like a medium high flame. Look at how beautiful that is, y'all. And yes, I was able to pit, pit, <laughs> here we go, y'all. Okay, I was able to fit like eight um, chicken thighs into this pan comfortably. Yes, they were able to lay out and get their suntan. Check that out. That's what my grandson said it looked like. He said, they look like they got a suntan <laughs> because of that red food coloring. Y'all, this was amazing. Seriously go out for what like unless you just like spending money guys you can make your own check that out look at that little char those little ends that is where all that flavor is y'all and I didn't want to keep this on the fire too long because I started to just you know sear the whole you know make those sear marks on the whole thing but I didn't want the chicken seat look it's already falling apart y'all this chicken was amazing Super flavorful, super tender. Man, this is definitely going on the menu. Y'all know what hubby said. Fire flame, babe. <laughs> Guys, seriously. And I didn't have to put any oil in the pan when I put the chicken in the pan. Because I had oil in that marinade. And look at that. You see those juices? Look at that. Guys, seriously, try this recipe out. Let me know how it turns out for you. And as always, stay blessed.